Welcome to a world of wit, elegance, and romantic misunderstandings. It's Pride and Prejudice time. Picture this, the Regency era where society's rules govern hearts and minds. Enter the Bennett family with five daughters to marry off and a flurry of wealthy bachelors in town. Love, laughter, and societal snafus ensue, entangling our protagonists in a dance of pride and prejudice. Intrigued? You should be. So are you ready? Now, meet the Bennett family, five daughters under the watchful eye of a marriage-obsessed mother. Mrs. Bennett is a woman on a mission, desperate to see her daughters married off to respectable suitors. As for the daughters, they are as diverse as they are delightful. Jane, the eldest, is a picture of beauty and kindness. She's the perfect Regency-era lady, gracious and gentle. Then there's Elizabeth, or Lizzie, our witty, intelligent, and fiercely independent protagonist. Mary, the middle child, is bookish and somewhat introverted, preferring her piano and studies to society's frivolities. The two youngest, Kitty and Lydia, are frivolous, flirtatious, and obsessed with officers in red coats. This lively family is soon thrown into a whirlwind when Mr. Bingley, a wealthy, charming bachelor, moves into the neighborhood, bringing along his friend, the proud and seemingly aloof Mr. Darcy. Bingley's affable nature is a hit with the locals, while Darcy's reserved demeanor isn't quite as well received. This is the stage on which our tale is set, a world of balls and bonnets, letters and love, where social status is everything and a good marriage is the ultimate goal. Life in this society is a delicate dance and the Bennets are about to step onto the floor. With the stage set, let's see how their lives intertwine in a dance of pride and prejudice. As the social season begins, sparks fly and rumors swirl. In the Regency era, a ball wasn't just a party, it was the social media of its day. A stage for public display and private intrigue, a place where reputations were made or broken. Enter our protagonists, Elizabeth Bennett and Mr. Darcy. Their first encounter? Not so promising. Darcy, with his lofty demeanor, comes off as aloof and arrogant. His cold indifference is a stark contrast to the lively and vivacious Elizabeth. Her sharp wit and spirited nature, though charming to some, are deemed barely tolerable by the high and mighty Mr. Darcy. Then, there's the charming Mr. Bingley and the sweet-natured Jane Bennett. Sparks fly immediately between these two, painting a stark contrast to the tension between Lizzie and Darcy. Yet beneath the surface of these initial encounters, the seeds of attraction are sown. Darcy finds himself intrigued by Elizabeth's audacious spirit, and Elizabeth, despite her best efforts, is drawn to Darcy's enigmatic persona. But the road to love isn't straightforward. As whispers of Darcy's supposed arrogance reach Elizabeth's ears, her initial distaste for him deepens into a firm dislike. But as the saying goes, first impressions can be deceiving. As we dive deeper into the story, we'll see how pride, prejudice, and misunderstanding can complicate matters of the heart. As revelations surface, our heroine's prejudice deepens, and the pride of our hero is put to the test. Let's delve into the heart of Pride and Prejudice, where our characters' true colors emerge. Our story takes a drastic turn when shocking news about Mr. Darcy's past actions reach Elizabeth. An unexpected confession of love from Darcy only serves to fuel the fire, with his apparent arrogance and pride falling harshly on Elizabeth's ears. Our protagonist, with her sharp wit and independent spirit, is not one to take such a confession lightly. Elizabeth, armed with her own prejudices, rejects Darcy's advances, leaving our hero in a state of bewildered disappointment. But if you think that's all there is to it, then hold on because we haven't even scratched the surface yet. Enter Mr. Wickham, a charming officer who seems to have a bone to pick with our Mr. Darcy. Wickham's tales of Darcy's alleged wrongdoings only serve to validate Elizabeth's dislike, further widening the gap between her and Darcy. But as we all know, there are always two sides to every story. And as Elizabeth continues to navigate the complex social maze, she's about to stumble upon the other side of Darcy's tale. But every story has two sides, and it's about time Lizzie hears the other side of the story. As the truth begins to unravel, Elizabeth finds herself questioning her initial judgments. A revelation comes in the form of a letter from Mr. Darcy, shedding light on his actions and the deceit of Mr. Wickham. Our heroine's perspective begins to shift, as she grapples with the reality that her prejudice may have clouded her judgment. 
Elizabeth's encounter with Lady Catherine, a character as formidable as she is, brings another twist. Her attempt to control Darcy's love life only further stokes Elizabeth's curiosity and challenges her preconceived notions. A visit to Pemberley, Darcy's grand estate, offers another glimpse into his true character. Elizabeth begins to see a man far removed from the arrogant snob she first encountered. And then, the greatest revelation of all, Elizabeth's own pride. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but swallow it she must. She realizes that her pride, masked as discernment, has been her downfall. It's a humbling experience, one that leads her to question everything she thought she knew about herself and Darcy. The unraveling of these misunderstandings is a journey of self-discovery for Elizabeth, a journey that brings her face to face with her own flaws. It's a pivotal turning point, not just in her relationship with Darcy, but in her own personal growth. And as her pride crumbles, could love be waiting just around the corner? With humility and love, Darcy makes his second attempt at winning Elizabeth's heart. This time, he's not the aloof aristocrat, but a man changed by love. Elizabeth, on the other hand, battles her own pride. She struggles, caught between her previous misconceptions and the new, humbler Darcy. Ultimately, they reconcile, their love overcoming their pride and prejudice. And as they find their way to each other, we're left with the promise of a happily ever after. And there you have it, a whirlwind tour of pride and prejudice. For the full charm and wit, read the book. Before we officially wrap up, a friendly reminder from your favorite scriptwriter. If you've enjoyed our Regency rom-com journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more classic literature breakdowns. Like the video, show us some love by hitting the thumbs up, and don't hesitate to share this journey with your friends who might be interested in a good classic. To stay updated with our latest content, turn on notifications. Your support means a lot to us. Now, let's wrap this up. Stay tuned for the end sting.